Yo, what's going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back from the Oatbeak DC video, and in today's video, it is the official countdown to the 10th anniversary coming within the next two weeks' time. We will have the 10th anniversary of Oatbeak DC, and this is the start of all the goodies that are coming into the game. Now, obviously, we have the Fem Law and Beppo banner, as well as the Kid and Killer banner that is in the game. That is the pre anniversary banner. That banner will go past what the anniversary is providing so save your gems don't summon on those types of banners but in today's video we're focusing on one of the biggest parts of the anniversary that comes around every single year and that is the anniversary ship now if you're a newer player getting into the game this particular ship is going to do wonders for your account because it gives you a lot of exp a lot of belly drops it maxes your specials it lets you farm content very very easily and very, very efficiently. And in today's video, we're going to talk about sort of the best ways to sort of farm EXP, farm belly, jump into stuff like your PKA runs, your Grand Voyage runs, and get stuff done. But they did put out this infographic for the 10th anniversary ship model that will be available from the 27th of April to the 29th of June. Now, that was basically last night at reset, I believe, um, or just before reset, The or maybe it was just like news time yesterday for me. Uh, and it goes through to June 29th. So, like, you have a very, very long time to use this ship. The whole two months, in fact. Which is very, very good. Because it's going to be boosted within basically every piece of content. And, like I said, not only help new players out, but also help out, out end game players. Now, for the first two weeks, roughly, we're going to have this first limited time ability. And that's what's available right now. And that's what we're going to be going through. But some of the ones from May 12th, like, on the day of the anniversary, it kind of nuts, and it's going to help you guys just bolster your account like crazy. So, from now until literally the start of the anniversary, like the day of the anniversary, your cruise special gauge is going to be set to max. Crew's going to get a 1.7 times attack boost, makes it easy to land perfects, and you get three times pirate EXP and belly. So, very, very nice stuff. On the day of the anniversary, though, literally from midnight until midday, so 12-hour period, the ship's ability is going to change. It's still going to be a 1.7 times attack, still a perfect, easy to hit, still setting your special gauge to max. However, the pit, pirate EXP and belly is going to go up to 10 times. This is massive, like absolutely massive. 10 times EXP is crazy, and 10 times belly is wild for you guys that have been trying to get level 12 ships you will understand that belly is very very annoying in terms of your stock pool obviously with the new co-op game o2 belly is going to be in high demand so even if you just sort of take i don't know half an hour out of your day to sit down and farm up some belly it's going to do wonders for your account. And I would highly recommend doing so. Maybe just throw like a full stamina bar into it. I'm going to go through um, the like best sort of belly team to sort of get as much belly gains as possible. Uh, obviously, you can tweak it. And you can do some fun stuff there for new players and end game players. Um, but like I said, if you can get like just half an hour to an hour out of your day and just, just farm belly, you don't have to do it for the 12-hour period. Or like if you do, more power to you. But it's going to give you guys... A really, really good stock pool for not only level 12 ships, but for the co-op game mode and leveling up characters down the line there as well. In the second half of the anniversary day, it's going to go down to five times. So still a pretty good chunk of belly, pretty good chunk of EXP as well, as well as your bind and despair removal by one turn passively. So you're just going to have a nice bind and despair removal by one turn. Uh, also save your PKA runs. If you guys don't check out my PKA EXP videos, I will have PKA, a part, uh, PKA EXP teams out by then i am going to japan in literally a week from tomorrow so i will be in japan for the anniversary fortunately i'm not gonna be able to get too much content out because i'm traveling with my partner but i will still be uploading stuff on this kind of stuff for you guys so um yeah that day of the anniversary make sure you do pka runs make sure you farm up some belly farm up some exp if you really want to and then also if you need some binding despair move if you're a newer player this is going to help out like just beating content that might be a little bit finicky a lot easier. You just have that bind and despair removal, which is really, really nice. On, like, after the day of the anniversary, moving into the, the back end, so from May 13th to June 29th, which is about a month and a half, you're going to get 10 turns of special charge, which is still absolutely insane. A 1.7 times attack boost, which is still really, really good. Cruise type slots, 
will have matching slot effects. So every single type will be matching, which is crazy. And then you also get 2.5 belly and EXP as well. So if you're a new player, like this first half is great, but the back half is just phenomenal. Like you're not going to struggle with damage being like every type slot matching. Um, obviously, like there's other ways of getting that, but this is just an easy throw that on and you just off to the races. And then you're still farming EXP and belly as well. So that's really 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 nice so i'm gonna bring that up over here if you guys want to have a look at it over there we've got it we've, we've got it over there uh for you guys but as for today's video like i said we're going to utilize the first part of the ship ability and we're going to sort of dive into the best places to farm exp and the best places to farm belly so if you head over to event island uh you guys most of you guys would know event island don't judge me for not having done the um the sugo what's it called but if you scroll over to the character recruitment quest and we go find our good old friend, Ground and Pound Usopp. The character recruitment quest for shooter characters and Usopp. This particular character has stood the test of time. Once upon a time, this character used to be absolutely insane back when like delay was like one of the most broken abilities in the game. Um, you could just delay enemies, you could stall out for your specials and you would just be absolutely hunky-dory. But nowadays... Um, he's the perfect place to not only farm your EXP, but he's also a really, really good place to get Hime drops. So, if you guys are looking for level up materials, this is still the best place to actually do so. And it is still the best place to farm your pirate EXP. So, all you need to do is use double Marco. I would recommend using double Marco because it's quicker. You can use double Momo if you want to, but it's, it's nowhere near as fast. Double Marco with V3 Akainu, the now Pirate Festival exclusive character, which is wild, and Zeph. It doesn't need to be 6 plus Zeph, just Zeph has a Sailor ability, and so does Akainu, where they add tap timing damage, which means they are very easy kills for these mob units. Now, we keep 4 units on the team, purely because if you have 5 fighters, Marco's super type triggers, and then that's just a little bit more time that you don't need to waste, like you're just sort of sitting through it for like no, no apparent reason. But you also need um, to avoid having a character on the bottom row because Usopp will just bind a bottom row character. So you just completely ignore that ability and then you just easily win. So you just slap this on auto mode. It hits clear. You look over, you see your phone. Oh, cool, clear. And then basically, once you get to the end, you can sell your copies of Usopp for Rayleigh points as well. Or if you have an abundance of box space, kind of like with, that, with the update that we just got that gave us a whole bunch of extra character slots, you can literally just hit retry and it'll just send it in again you got to hit auto and you're off to the damn races and with this you're not only getting three Hime turtles of the psi typing very very nicely now you can obviously do any of the 15 star events as well um sorry the 15 stamina events for depending on what turtles you guys want to farm if you guys don't want Sai Hime Turtles, you could go to Cavendish, but the fastest one, I believe, is this one right here. So if you're solely looking for EXP, and you're solely looking for those pirate level gains, this is the one that is going to get you the most for the shortest amount of time. So just be mindful of that. But if you guys want to get more investment for your account, you want to get stuff like quick Hime Turtles, you can go to like, um, I think Cavendish gives you quick. Um, there's a Yasop that gives you strength, and then there's like a carrot that gives you dex, like I don't know exactly what the fastest ones are. If, so, if someone knows, like, post them in the comment section and I'll pin it for you guys. But as you can see, like, getting through GPU is very, very easy. It's very, very fast. Uh, and you can run it a lot of times, especially as a new player. Because it only it only costs 15 stamina. Because it only costs 15 stamina, as you can see, like, we have a lot of stamina. And we can easily get through it nice and fast. We're getting a total of 91,000 EXP every single time we run this, which is ridiculous like it's, it's a lot of exp obviously we're getting a lot of belly as well so you can farm your bellies here obviously when you guys sell these characters too you are going to get Rayleigh points you're also going to get belly and if you really want more belly you can actually sell the Hime turtles as well i am not going to because I, I i desperately need Hime turtles but you can actually sell them for more belly if you're a newer player and you're not really needing these exp materials as much as sort of like an end game player would now if you are more of an end game player and you look at sort of farm, you're looking to farm some some stamina, get some bigger EXP gains rather than just doing the 15 stamina. 
uh, and you're not really here to min max, but you kind of still want to do something. If you head over to the clashes tab and you head down to the normal, you can unlock Doflamingo. Doflamingo is, I believe, what, 60? 60 points in the Recollective Archive. So you can technically unlock this three times. So for three hours a day, you'll be able to farm this Doflamingo. Now, when you unlock this ability, like I said, you only have one hour to complete the actual clash. Now, I would only do this if you have a lot of stamina, like a lot of stamina, because when you run this on three times EXP, it's going to take you a roughly around... 180 stamina, well exactly 180 stamina I should say, to actually complete. Also, it's going to take you a little bit more time to do so. You can slap on auto, just like we did with GPU. However, if you are doing this, you, you kind of really want to get through it very, very quickly. Uh, and with the ability to set all of your specials to max charge, we're actually going to use that to our advantage and utilize some characters that can kind of just wave clear, can get stuff done very, very easily. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use Marco... On turn one, Marco is going to wave clear the first stage, and now he's going to auto proc his special. He's just going to auto proc on turn two. He's going to auto proc on turn three. You literally just have to do this, and then like you can just let this rock. Like it's it just does it for you. So it'll literally just keep killing, and then you can move on to basically stage four very very easily, very very nicely. You can use um Zoro as well to wave clear. He's always going to start with his special max, but there's no normal tax only on this fight as well. Something that's really really nice. And um, because it's one of the oldest clashes in the game, it doesn't throw lots of gimmicks at you. It's actually really fast to get through. Um, it's like just it's very, very simple, very, very easy. So as you can see, like we're going to get to the end here. Um, you can use like bullet with HP cuts. You could literally just like HP cut this into the ground. Use a whole bunch of specials. Um, anything that kind of does damage is going to work quite nicely. Obviously, you don't need to do all this. Like I'm just showing you guys that if you're a newer player and you get to this particular point, if you have Marco... And um, if you have Jack, you can just Jack as well. But as you can see, like you can just use specials to just 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 clear it. So that's always fun. Uh, you don't even have to tap, so works out quite nicely. However, it does use a lot more EXP and uh, sorry, a lot more uh, stamina. Now with the meat, you can actually use a meat to just keep replenishing your stamina, and that's going to work quite nicely. But as you guys can see here, you don't get nearly as much rewards for actually completing it. However, you get 475,000 EXP, which is massive. Like, it's it's a much bigger gain. However, if you tally out the 91,000, and you times that by, say, 5 to hit... What is it? 40... Oh, my God. My math is terrible right now. Um, if you times that by 5 to hit 45,000, you're still on a net gain if you are doing GPU. So... The options there for you guys, I thought I would just showcase that. I believe there's another clash that gives you a lot of EXP as well. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you guys remember what that one is. But that's what you want to do when you are farming uh, EXP. Now, the upside to the ship as well is you actually get three times belly. Now, if you head over to the power-up menu, you can go to the golden cave, the wealthy golden cave. And this is the best place to farm belly. Now, if you want, and like I said, if you're a new player and you don't... Really care too much about Hime Turtles, you got a lot of lobsters, and getting characters level 99 is pretty easy, then you can go from there. However, I would highly recommend keeping your Hime Turtles and just trying to farm out the Golden Cave. Now, the Golden Cave is going to take 90 stamina on triple EXP, so um, just be mindful of that. So, it, it is quite a lot to get this done. So, the amount of belly that you get from GPU is honestly going to be the best place to use your stamina. That, that GPU stage. For the gains that you get, it's going to be the most efficient. But to get the most amount of gold, you are going to want to run this particular quest here. Now, if you have Guildsaurus 6 Plus, obviously, as a newer player, you're probably not going to have this 6 Plus unit. Don't stress, though, because I have another team for you guys that doesn't use a uh, 6 Plus character for... Um, this particular fight. But if you guys have Tesoro, as you guys can see... He's very, very good at just taking this down. You can just run on like a bunch of wave clearers. Remember, you get your special start and then like max at the start, at the start of the quest. Um, it's going to work out really, really nicely. But um, yeah, Tesoro just, he just blitzes his way through this. Like it's just absolutely free. Once you get to the end um, of the quest, 
you are going to get a bunch of belly, and it's going to work very, very nicely for us. So as you can see there, we got the clear. Tesoro gives you three times belly gains, and then the ship is also giving you three times belly. Now, that's a lot of, that's a lot of belly, man. Um, now, if you guys have the Grand Tesoro ship maxed out, I would highly recommend doing so if you're a new player, if you're an endgame player. You're pretty much going to be able to do this at any time that you like. So right now, as mentioned, I feel like GPU is the best place to do this. And then farming up the belly cave when the 10 times is on is going to be the most efficient for you guys. So if you guys have Grand Tesoro, great. You're going to get three times belly gain. Works out very, very nicely. But if you're a newer player and you're really, really struggling with belly and you really need something to help you out, then Komarasaki is going to be the next best thing. Now, I have basically just thrown on a bunch of free-to-play characters. You can throw on any character that sort of does damage and that's going to help you guys clear this stage a little bit easier. As you guys saw with the Tesoro team, I was just wave clearing my way through using characters that can do damage as very, very nice ways to actually kill. But the quest really isn't that challenging in today's day and age. Once upon a time, this was very, very difficult because Viola was the best option for farming belly. You can still use Rare Recruit Viola, by the way. She gives you like no captain ability, so um, that's kind of annoying. However, just running Komarasaki just for your time frame. Because remember, you don't really want to be sitting here just like banging your head against a wall. You want to get the most amount of gains for the most efficient amount of time. And that's why sometimes doing the Belly Cave or doing um, the, what's it called, quest. Doing um, Do Flamingo can be a little bit more beneficial for your time. So that way you're not just continuously running the 15th summon. If you can, like I said, more power to you. However, there are other ways of getting this sort of stuff done. There are very, very good ways of building up your account without having to feel like you are just consistently grinding and grinding and grinding in the game mode. So, um, as you can see, like anything that does over 100,000 damage nowadays is really not hard to come by. Um, so, you can just easily bring a whole bunch of characters to do damage. So, it works quite nicely. But that's going to wrap up the video. That's the start of the 10th anniversary ship. I'll have some more updates, maybe some shorts and stuff like that for this particular stuff coming out um, throughout the anniversary. So make sure to check that out. We'll obviously do one when, when anniversary starts, um, probably something of the similar vein. So make sure you hit the bell notification so that you're selling that sort of stuff. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video as well. But most importantly, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.